Dr. Dan the Bandage Man. That's the name of the story today. Dan is a busy fellow. He is always doing something. But one day, he was playing with his friends and he was playing Chor Polis when he fell and hurt his finger. And what do you think he did? He went crying to the house. Mama, Mama, look, I've broke, I've hurt my finger, he said. Now his mother loved to see Dan, but didn't like to see him crying at all. When she saw his little cut, she said, Why, that's just a small little cut. Don't worry and don't cry. We'll wash it clean with soap and water and bandage it up and it will be better than new, said Mama. As soon as she washed his finger and put the bandage, Dan went back to his friends to play chore police. They all gathered around to see his finger with the bandage. The next day, Dan was playing with his sister and their dog Spotty and his sister's doll. He tied Spotty to the wagon so that they could take the doll for a ride. But Spotty saw the cat and you know that dogs love to chase cats. So off went Spotty chasing the cat and oh my gosh, do you know what happened? The wagon tipped over and out fell the doll. The little girl started to cry. My baby is hurt. My baby is hurt. That is nothing to cry about, said Dan. I know just what we'll do. So he picked up the doll and led Spotty and his sister back to the house. We'll wash it clean with soap and water and we'll bandage it, said Dan. And that's what he did. Look, he's taken the bandage and he's putting it on to the doll's head. She's better than new, isn't it, said Dan. Now, said Dan. <clears throat> his sister. I want one too. You want a bandage? Asked Dan. Are you hurt? Mm, let me see, said his sister. And there she found an old scratch. Okay, I'll put a bandage for you as well, said Dan. And there he's put a bandage for his sister. Spotty the dog sat down and put out his paw. Dan started laughing. Do you want a bandage too? Said Dan. And yes, Dan took a bandage and put it on to Spotty's paw. The next day, Dan's father had a holiday and didn't have to go to work. 
So his father decided to cut the long grass in the garden. The machine or the lawn mower that cuts the grass cut the little the finger of Dan's father. Ooh, said Dan's father. Look, I've cut my finger. Dan came running and said, Let me fix it up, Dad. I know what we can do. We'll wash your finger with soap and water and we'll bandage it up. And your finger will be better than new. His father looked surprised. And soon he had a little bandage on his finger as well. You're a very good boy, said Dan's father to Dan and shook his hand. I think I have a new name for you. We'll call you Dr. Dan the Bandage Man. And that's what we'll call Dan from now on. Dr. Dan the Bandage Man.